Hello everyone, it's Richard and Sophia here. Welcome back to the Dad and Daughter 3D Printer Build. We're moving along really nicely. Last time we were setting up the Z-axis and then we were putting the Z-axis onto, uh, sorry, putting the uh, X-axis onto the Z-axis. And we actually made a bit of a mistake. Mm -hmm. So it, we were rushing and really excited to get them on and we were both doing putting this x-axis on at the top and we twiddled the bars and got it down. I only just realised after we did the next step that we had it upside down. So we had to take these top two pieces off. It was very easy. You unscrewed and put it back down again. So it only took a few minutes, but it did mean that we made a little bit of a mistake putting this around, which you'll see in the previous video if you watch again. Okay, so the next step was putting the extruder and the hot end all building this part up and that was a little bit trickier than we expected wasn't it because mm -hmm. it was quite fiddly with a few things the one thing that was really cool was that every time i was explaining to sophia there was a piece of plastic with a nut trap and i said well you use a long screw and you put that in and you push it into the nut trap and then we moved on to the next bit of the instructions and sure enough they explained exactly the same way as i explained to you so there's a little rule there that you should always look ahead on the instructions because they give you great tips. And that's another indication that whoever's been, uh, built, whoever's been making the manual for this has been building these up and learning the little tricks and tips that everyone does when they build up 3D printers. So <laughs> that was rather cool, wasn't it? So we found, we found a few things like that where we've gone ahead and we've done it how we think and actually the instructions have said exactly the same. So that's one thing to watch out for. So the next thing I wanted to say really, because we've just finished this piece, we've just finished the extruder, just put all the fans on, all the hot ends, and I was really thoroughly impressed with how all the cables came at the back, wasn't it? They all went through really nicely, they've got little guides and a little clip at the back, and you do have to make sure you do that quite carefully, because especially for the motor cable, it goes actually behind the fan for the hot end, the fan cooling fan for the hot end. And if you don't tuck that behind when your carriage moves across um, and presses on the sensor at, at the side the little switch on the side if you've got your motor wires there it won't press so you have to make sure you've root them exactly as it says in the instructions if you do that all will be fine so the next really super cool thing was that um, in the kit they supply a piece of nylon filament and what this does is this gives a bit of a guide for all the wires that are coming out of the back to give you a loom to come down to your electronics and this is really nice. I've, I've used this technique in my other 3D printers on all of the moving carriages, wherever you've got wires, because it provides a little bit of support and it allows you just to bunch all of these wires together and gives it minimal amount of flex and bending. So that was another one we were really impressed with. Okay, so I think the next one we've got to do, we're just about to get going on this, is actually do all the electronics, isn't it? So are you excited about that? Yeah. Good. Well, why don't we get on with that then? I think this time we should probably start with a sweep rather than end with a sweep. I think so. <laughs> what colour do you want this time? I'm having one of the green ones because it's that's apple. I had that last time. I think. It's really nice. What do you want? Not apple? any yellow. yellow one. That's really cool. Okay, we better make a start. We want to finish this very soon. Hmm. Is that good? Lemon. Lemon. Oh, mine's apple. Okay, let's go! Mm. <laughs> 